It's party time. We're on the ferry. We got a big V8 Caterpillar engine down there somewhere in the engine room. And we are heading to Stowe, Vermont to the annual late summer car show. I'm driving my party barge. Got all my junk. Got my nice ice water from Starbucks. And we are going to have a good time in Vermont. Even though we're late, it's after 9 o'clock and I just got on the boat. I was the last one on, otherwise 15 minutes down the drain. I wanted to get it started at 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Anyways, we are on. Turn this engine off. I love this car. This is the best thing I have bought in a long time. I love them all. And I can drive this thing until... August 28th, last car on the ferry. Otherwise, got to wait for that boat, got to dock, unload, load, 20 minutes down the drain, I'm going to be sitting in traffic on the mountain road, but I am going there in my Grand Prix. Maybe they'll call me Party Barge Wild. <laughs> Get a new name, Big Growler. Think, think, think. We are pulling into port in Vermont. And I love this party barge. I'm disappointed I didn't get that Catalina 2 plus 2. But I got my eye on a black 65 Bonneville. The guy ordered it brand new out of college. 389 four barrel. I said, why didn't you get the tie the tri-power? He says it wasn't available. Wrong. He said it was dealer installed. I said wrong. Factory installed. 389, 356 horsepower or a 376 HO. And maybe I'll make it into one. It doesn't have air conditioning. Who needs it in Vermont? But he bought it brand new. He's asking $95,000. I wonder if he'll take an offer. A little overpriced at 95. This thing needs a little bit quicker ratio steering box. Fix the air conditioning. And run, man. Just drive. We are loving it. The Adirondack Mountains on one side, the Green Mountains of Vermont on the other. Life is good in a 65 Grand Prix party barge. <laughs> Call myself party barge wild. GP wild. I'm having a good time. Let me tell you, this is fun. People come in, you know how everyone loves to do laundry, so donuts and coffee. I'm listening to them serve up happen. maple donuts in <laughs> Tupper Lake. So I've only been there a couple times to tip Top Tupper Lake. Oh, we're loving it. On the causeway, heading for snow. They're fishing. Summer is yummy. Too bad fall follows and then winter. I hate winter. I wish I could just look out the picture window and watch the snow fall and not do anything. Read the New York Times, maybe a good book. Watch some YouTube videos of Four Speed Bernie. Look them up. Four Speed Bernie. The number four, S-P-E-D-B-E-R-N-I-E. -E -E. Goes for rides and cars with four speeds. Catalinas and Venturas and GTOs and Fairlanes. And I think I watched them drive a 68 Caprice 427 four speed. Barn found. Yep, four speed Bernie. Where did he find all the four speeds? I don't know. I wish I had one. I got it. Automatic. Maybe I should put in a 204R and put in a 323 Posi that I found at the car show in Norwalk, Ohio. And the overdrive will knock the top gear down 30%, so my 323s will actually be 240-somethings. i got 273s now. And I'll have a lower first gear for more acceleration, but it won't be original. It'll be a 204R, which is the same tranny they put in the Grand Nationals. I don't know. I'll just leave it alone. Just enjoy the Turbo 400. It's shifting great after 50 years. First year for the transmission was 1965, only came in the full sizes. You couldn't get it in a Corvette till 68. If you got a 67 Corvette, 427, 400 with three twos and air conditioning, you got a Power Glide. They didn't put it in the Corvettes till 68, but they put it in the full size in 65, which means Buick had it in the nail head two years only. 65, 66 has a round bell housing. Yeah, I know, Spike Punk. I had an opportunity to get one 35 years ago. 30, yeah, 35 years ago. Oh well, 204R with an adapter in the Skylark because nobody wants to buy my GS. I'm going to take it out of storage and put a frame under it 
and restore that car to something or other, but I'm not going to sell it cheap. I've had that car for 35 years, my 66 Skylark Grand Sport Convertible. I'm going to start spending the money. Yep. I don't want to end up in a swamp with a granite headstone over me saying, here lays Mr. CW. He had all the money and was too busy working. Things are going to change. We're going to have a good time. I'm going to get a four-speed something or other, maybe a five-speed Catalina, or a Grand Prix, or a 2 plus 2, or a Bonneville. Things are going to change. GP Wild! Ha! Frankenstein! Yahoo! So I got here a little late. It's after 11 o'clock. My turbo time watch died. Needs a new battery. $7 at Walmart for a 50 cent battery. And someone isn't going to make it to their destination today because they were probably driving too fast. Crunch. Oh boy, what a way to ruin a good day, huh? Pay attention to where you're going. Don't text while driving. Car show ahead. We're sitting in bumper to bumper traffic on the mountain road. Gasoline tanker danger. Honey, 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 honey. Driving my party barge. Party barge wild, GP wild, Grand Prix wild. I don't know. I like Corvair wild. It rolls off the tongue. Here we are at the car show. Yahoo! Billy's already here with his 61 Lakewood. And I hope they let me in with my Grand Prix. I'm not going into spectators parking because I am a participant. Maybe I'll get one of those, have a midlife crisis. What do you think? They make him in diesel? Yeah, baby. Everybody loves this party bar. I am so happy with this car. I think I'm going to buy one of every model. A Parisienne, Custom Sport, a Bonneville, a Catalina 2 Plus 2. <laughs> I love it. Ah, oh, what a beautiful weekend. There it is. The Stowe Annual Car Show on the Mountain Road on the Nichols Field in Stowe, Vermont. 15 minutes of traffic and it was worth it because we're here. I saw a guy yesterday, just moved here from California, driving a 60. There's a 60 Impala. He's driving a 59 Impala, four-door hardtop, just brought it from California. So he's driving a nice new whatever pickup truck it was, a Tundra or an F-150. I said, you better fluid film it. Oh no, I get it crown protected. I said, junk. You're wasting your time. It's garbage. Fluid film. Why is he rushing those people forward when I'm sitting here in my classic car? Jap scrap. What is he doing? Let me in. The car show's going to be over by the time I get in. Ha 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 ha. Yahoo! 1964 Impala Convertible! Why don't you get a new car? 64 Impala Convertible, 283 Power Glide. Alright, now we gotta wait in line and pay our admission because we didn't pre register because we're not organized. And the cars are here and Billy's in there somewhere. I had a Malibu just like that 30 years ago. I had a 1978 Malibu with a 200 V6 and I towed 50 cars to the country with it. Had a turbo 350. Not a turbo 200, had a turbo 350. With a lockup torque converter, I think. We are here at the car show and there are so many beautiful cars here. I am so happy to be here. I don't want to be judged. My car is driven not clean. I don't have any time or interest to clean it. I just want to get to the car show and keep her running. Good morning. Do you need to register? Yes, sir. Okay, why don't you pull right in? Next to the Delta 88. Yeah. Cool beans. Delta 88 Jetstar. Wow. Love it. <laughs> 